I can't make head or tail of this thing. <sighs> no, it's getting soaked. Oh. <sighs> Well, that's just great. It's getting foggy. Huh? All right. Battle Spectre, huh? Okay, I better say that charm. Uh, uh Beto, 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 go round and ahead, round ahead. All right then. Ah! Oh, the ground is so slippery! Ah, there's a cliff! Ah! 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 Um, I, I don't know who you are, sir, but... Are you unharmed, young man? This is no place for one such as you to be. In the rain, the cliffs are quite dangerous. You should head back where you came. There you'll find a hut to stay in. Uh... I guess I should take his advice. What's that? Some kind of shop? Out here? Do you live here? No, 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 no. I I'm lost on this road. Ah, then we are in the same boat, uh, young man. I guess so. There are no other buildings around here but this one. Looks like it's gonna be our only shelter from this awful rainstorm. It seems very old. You think anyone's still living in there? Uh, ah! uh, oh, that was real close. Huh? The shop sign? Be true, yeah. Uh, and who might you be? We're so sorry to impose on you like this, but the rain started so quickly. Oh, please come inside. <sighs> Thanks. Excuse all the dust in here. It'll be all right. Please, don't worry about it. A long time ago, this was a busy store with many customers. It's very isolated. Do you live here all alone? Yes. Oh, and the name's Tokuemon, by the way. Huh? Uh. Huh? That sound. Uh, is something wrong? No. Uh, pardon me. Yes? I'm a little cold, and... Is there a bathroom I can use? Of course, it's down there at the end of the hall on the right. Uh, excuse me! I wonder, have we met somewhere before? Uh, uh, no. <gasps> uh, uh, huh? Which way did I come from? Huh? Oh, thank goodness. 
Excuse me. Me. <laughs> Kid? Hey, kid! Uh, so, so, sorry Now that you've had a nice long look at me, uh, you can stop and close the screen. I didn't mean to. I just came in the wrong room. I didn't see anything. I didn't, I mean... Just close it, kid. So, sorry about this! <sighs> Is something wrong? <laughs> No, but you said you lived alone, and I saw a woman in there, so... Ah, yes, she wanted to find shelter from the rain, the same as you did. I... I see. Oh, it's you. Thank you so much for your help before. I noticed that you don't seem to follow advice well, do you? <sighs> huh? My advice earlier was given in hopes that you would learn to avoid any further scary situations. What do you mean? <sighs> Naughty boy. No, no way! You've got me all wrong! <laughs> <gasps> Did you all hear that sound? Sound? Yes, the raindrops are heavy, but... Can't you hear it? That sound! That slish-slush sound! Are you sure you aren't just hearing things? No! I hear it too! It... Sounds like... like Azuki beans being washed. <gasps> Azuki? Is this place being haunted by an Azuki Arai? Azuki Arai? What might that be? Literally, Azuki bean washer. It's a type of specter. They're said to exist in valley rivers or under bridges and make a noise that sounds like washing Azuki beans. It's also said that they can't be seen for some reason. Oh, a specter, you say? It's mere superstition, myth. Superstition? Forgive me for asking, but don't you sell charms? I mean, really? Do you not make your living off of curses and specters, the unknown? You make a very good point, and I must commend you for it. As I believe in neither God nor Buddha, <laughs> I perform rituals and sell charms for a living. It is definitely an Azuki Arai. It is said that if you hear the sound, you yourself will fall into the water. Uh. So then, you're not just a pervert. You're knowledgeable about strange things. Stop it. Stop calling me a pervert. Look, I make my living thinking up interesting riddles that children can solve. But on the side, I'm working on a collection of a hundred ghost stories I want to publish someday, so I know some things. Oh, a hundred stories, you say? I love scary stories, too. I see. An author, so naturally you'd be well-versed in your subject, huh? Uh, no, please. I'm just a beginner at this. There is an Azuki Arai dwelling here. <gasps> this Azuki Arai has existed for many years and was the cause of my shop's downfall. <laughs> yes, it was ten long years ago. It was when the store was still busy that I received an apprentice named Yasuke. Yasuke wasn't able to actually work, but he had an amazing talent. He could tell how many Azuki beans there were in a measuring box with just a glance. Rumors of Yasuke's ability spread from village to village until eventually this kingdom's lord demanded to see Yasuke's talent for himself. Yasuke counted the Yazuki beans perfectly. Not only did this please the Lord, but as word spread, the store became even more successful. It was around that time when I was so pleased with all that had happened that I announced that I was going to will my property to Yasuke. I said this in front of the other apprentices. I had no children of my own, you see. I suppose even the most foolish child can turn out to be the one you hold most dear. A few days later, Yasuke went off to wash some azugi beans and disappeared. He met a cruel and gruesome man. Ever since then, we started to hear that strange noise on rainy days. It is an azuki arai. You see, Yasuke's thoughts when he died had nowhere to go and they became a ghost. 
One by one, my customers and apprentices left. My shop became the ruin you see now. Uh, I'm sorry for your sorrow. And the murderer, was he ever found? Yes. It was a man named Tatsugoro. He was my head clerk for many, many years. <gasps> he was a diligent worker, and I respected him. He was executed for the murder he committed. Executed? Is something wrong, Enkai? You don't look well. <gasps> Someone's in here! <sighs> Someone is in here! I doubt that. This area is quite remote. <sighs> Don't scare us like that again, please. <sighs> it's grown very late. Some fate must have brought you all here to discuss those events of long ago. Please, won't you stay here for the night? You know, when you think about it, it's not surprising Yasuke would haunt this place. He was killed having done nothing at all wrong. You're right. Well, if a ghost should happen to appear, we have a fine monk like Master Enkai here to protect us. How? How does he know my name? This certainly is turning out to be a strange visit. This rain isn't gonna stop anytime soon. No. This isn't Bichuya. It wasn't out in the countryside like this, and... Tokuimon... Tokuimon is supposed to have died many years ago. Hmm? Uh, guess beggars can't be choosers, huh? wrong are you all right did you have a bad dream or something huh? yes <gasps> get out get out I say what's wrong brother Tatsugoro no I'm not Tatsugoro I'm not I am not <laughs> What's the big idea? Wait, this is... <sighs> Who is it? Who's doing this to me? Open up! I'm begging you, please open the door! <sighs> I did... I did nothing wrong! Stop this! It isn't fair! I did my job well! How could the Master give it to him? If only he hadn't said he was leaving it to Yasuke! If he just hadn't said that! Tatsugo. 
Toro, are you feeling all right? What's happening here? <laughs> I, I practiced my apprenticeship well. I did. I worked for years and years and years. And yet, and yet the master was going to leave it all to Yasuke. To Yasuke! <laughs> To that stupid little kid! That's why... That's why... Such is the way of this world, and it can't be changed. <laughs> Just as the undeserving may find fortune, so too might an honest man suffer great loss. In any case, this world is full of strange twists. Which is right and which is wrong, we cannot say. Life is a mystery. However, the act of killing another person is always a great sin. What happened? Huh? What on earth? What's going on? Uh huh? Poor guy. Maybe we overdid things a little this time. <laughs> I think we always tend to overdo things, don't you agree? Still, he died with a peaceful look on his face, didn't he? To the next world, we commit thee. <laughs> uh, uh, there they are! I finally found you! I've been looking everywhere! Just who are you, people? Who? Me? I'm just a harmless peddler. Really? No matter what you say, the truth is you're a trickster who makes his living by fooling people. Isn't that right? Ogeen, what about you then, you puppeteer? There's no need to slander me. Here they go again. He's a trickster? She's a puppeteer? Huh? They're nothing but murderers, if you ask me. Huh? There now. Understand, this is what we're all about. For your own safety, I suggest you keep your distance from us. Those who don't listen to advice may end up in a very bad way. Yeah. Just... who were they? That was my first encounter with the Mataichi gang. The first of many. And my first glimpse into the world of darkness that existed with them. Wind turns, whisper soft and sweet. Though there's not a cream of a breeze Moonlight dancing on the garden wall As it gently drift through the trees From Main Street right on this perfect night While all of the world Find us here 
as we feel the moment of love. Drown near dreams deep with your hand in mine underneath a blanket of stars. Some and clay as we share the warmth of the dawn. Evil and ambition scatter in the darkness, leaving behind dubious rumors to fly in public. In Glorious Edo, a weeping willow tree falls in love with a respected shop owner named Kichibe. So in love that each time he takes a new wife, the willow tree murders his bride in hopes of keeping him for herself. Next time on Natsuhiko Kyogoku's Requiem from the Darkness, Willow Woman. To the next world, we commit thee.